I, I really think social media, to be honest, Absolutely. and uh, social yeah. media has, you know, this is it, it. This is interesting because anything that man touches can be perverted. I, mm -hmm. I think maybe the intention could have been good, but because man is involved in it, it's kind of been perverted. So it's sort of like when we were in school, if we were being bullied, it was only about maybe 20 people that knew that we were being bullied. Now you have thousands of people that know that you're being bullied. So a thousand eyes, well, maybe 2,000 if you have two eyes, 2,000 eyes are on you as the victim of a bully versus when we grew up, it was maybe just your little class or your little school and that's it. I think social media has made it more difficult to hide. Everything is transparent, whether you like it or not. There are a lot of things that are fake on social media that people are trying to live up to and they never will because it's just an illusion. And I think social media, again, has done some wonderful things. People have connected. Family members have connected who they never knew one another. But then on the <clears throat> side, you have cyber bullies. Right. You know, so it's like, oh. Uh... And, and that's tax. Tax. He's a social media. He tax me like Yes. He tax you like, what are you He's talking about? I'm not the one talking about. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! The people will go back and see all the episodes. How you always pick at me? You started, and I just finish it. That's all it is. <laughs> but, but this topic is—I I mean, we're not trying to make light of the topic. This is serious, and mm -hmm. and it's sad that in the black community is overlooked or or just. Uh, you know, like you both say, the resources, but is it technology available so that they do have resources now that they can pull from the help available compared to when we were growing up? We didn't oh. have that. Yeah, no, yeah. Absolutely. I think there's, um, there's pros and cons to it. Um, it's easier for our generation to pick up our cell phones and dial a number and talk to a free crisis line immediately. It's also really easy for us to wake up, pick up our phone and see people that are living, that are our age and living these lifestyles, these lavish lifestyles, and they have this and they look like this and they're doing this. And why, is, why does it seem so easy for them? That really has a powerful impact on the mind. Whether I think um, our generation acknowledges it or not, um, there is a lot of power in being able to pick up a device, be able to choose and um, what you post, but not be able to choose really what you see and what you take in. Uh, document your whole life from morning to night, including what you ate, what you wore, where you went. <laughs> that is really crazy you know right, you, it is. It's like you go on um on tiktok nowadays and you really have people who wake up set their phone up get back in the bed record so people can see them wake up and get ready with them for the day how does that affect one who maybe may not have those things or maybe struggling in certain areas or just simply taking in the smallest most personable parts of the lives of people that they never met and arguably never will but still, it really controls, um, I think, the way people see themselves. And it, it makes people be hard on themselves. Like, well, what am I not doing to have A, B, and C? I think it's easier for us. It's more addictive to go on a social media app and look at what's going on in so-and-so's life rather than picking up the phone and looking up a resource or picking up the phone and researching anything or just simply reading a book. It's it's addictive to look at someone's life and everything that they show you on a daily basis. It is. And and growing up, we only had what three channels. Three channels, mm -hmm. black and white. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was like, and oh, TV was not 24-7. It right. went off the That's air. Right. And you then when it was going off the air, Indian they played that crying. music. That's right. Right. Yeah, the right. Yeah. <laughs> a little tear come down. I'm, I'm serious. Y'all might not understand that, but she 
not the Lisa Ducks, you know. Yes, absolutely. But but the thing is, it, somebody like me, just a layman, don't you know? I'm not a professional in that field. Just don't watch it. Turn it off. Why not just turn it off? I mean, don't watch mm-hmm. these other people how they live. But tack, you know, I mean, you're going to see it regardless. Even see. if you even if you say turn it off, you're going to you're going to you're going to see it at some point. It's going to be fed to you because that big big business big big businesses are trying to promote push those people so they can sell x product or whatever the case may be so you're going to see somebody wearing something like oh who's that let me go see what they're about and it leads you back to their social media so you can see what products they're trying to push or whatever the case may be uh, unfortunately so so it's not as easy as turning it off it's not as easy say, i'm gonna walk away no because ayana said something key is can become an addiction it's an mm-hmm. addiction 